audience, this is the Cheeky Monkey, and welcome back to Road to Dark Knight 3, The Master Race. So after the epic event known as Crisis on Infinite Earths, it was time to establish new versions of the origin stories of DC superheroes. Writers quickly came up with ideas for Superman and Wonder Woman, but there was a slight problem with the other member of the DC Trinity, Batman. Dub the Batman, who he is and how he came to be, was just fine. So the origin of Batman didn't need rewriting but it could be expanded upon, given greater depth and detail. So, who would undertake this task? Obviously, the man who helped usher in the Bronze Age of comics, Frank Miller. Working together with artist David Mazzuchelli, the result was the four-part story, Batman, Year One. The comic, as the title suggests, tells the story of Bruce Wayne's first year as Batman. Along with the story of how Jim Gordon came to Gotham, and what happened to him in that first year, and a very brief origin of Catwoman. Yet, Frank decides to take on quite a bit of material in Batman Year One. The story itself, while it's not as exciting as Batman Begins, which took a lot of inspiration from Year One, and also happens to be one of my favorite superhero movies ever. It's still a good story, and it's still a good first outing as Batman. The artwork is certainly much better than in The Dark Knight Returns, and in fact, it's probably the uh, second best here on this road. Jim Gordon's also done quite well in this. Not as good as in, say, Batman Earth 1, but Gorn is still a BAMF in Batman Year 1. The story also has some really nice dialogue and some great lines that you could put on a poster. You feasted on Gotham's wealth, its spirit, but your feast is nearly over. From this moment on, none of you are safe. I also like how it is Batman stays so true to his no-killing rule in this story. Like, one part comes to mind where it's his first night as Batman, and he's finding these thieves on a, um, on a fire escape, and one of them falls over the railing and grabs the thug by his ankle and keeps holding on to him, and even tries to pull him up as the other thugs are clobbering Batman. Like The Dark Knight Returns, this comic gives me hope, because it is arguably Frank Miller at his absolute best, and of course, he's writing about Batman. Oh, and if you have issues with the fact that graphic novels out there are rather pricey, this one is at a decently reasonable $15. Well, that's all for now. This is the Cheeky Monkey. Stay classy.